Gorilla Varus Tiger. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a battle of epic proportions. In one corner, we have the fierce and powerful Silverback Gorilla, the undisputed king of the primate world. And in the other corner, we have the majestic Bengal Tiger, the most formidable of all the big cats. Imagine the sheer intensity of this showdown as these two titans of the animal kingdom face off against each other in a fight to the death. With their enormous size and incredible strength, both the gorilla and the tiger are capable of inflicting massive damage on any opponent that dares to cross their path. But what happens when these two mighty creatures go head to head? The eastern lowland gorilla, with its stocky body, massive hands, and short muzzle, is a force to be reckoned with. And the Bengal tiger, with its iconic stripes and fierce determination, is the most powerful of all the tiger subspecies. The stakes are high, and the tension is palpable. Who will emerge victorious in this epic battle? Will it be the king of the jungle, the tiger, or will the king of the primates, the gorilla, claim the ultimate victory? Only time will tell in this clash of the titans. Get ready for the ultimate battle between two of the most fearsome beasts to ever walk the earth. How do they hunt? And what do they eat? Prepare to enter the wild, where survival of the fittest is the only rule. Get ready to discover how two of the world's most ferocious predators hunt and feed in their natural habitats. First up, the mighty eastern lowland gorilla, a fearsome omnivore that feasts on both plants and insects. With their powerful jaws and muscular bodies, these gorillas can take down even the toughest of vegetation, devouring fruits, berries, leaves, nuts, and their favorite termites and ants. But they're not satisfied with just insects. Sometimes they'll go after small rodents or lizards. Their insatiable hunger drives them to travel great distances in search of food, consuming up to 18 kg or 40 lbs of food per day. Now, Let's turn our attention to the Bengal tiger, the ultimate carnivore that reigns supreme as the king of the jungle. These tigers have a taste for large, hooved mammals such as Chital, Gaur, and Sambar. But don't be fooled. They're not afraid to take down other formidable prey such as water buffalo, wild boar, hog deer, leopards, wolves, or crocodiles. In fact, they've even been known to coordinate attacks against the massive rhinoceros and elephants. These tigers hunt with lethal precision, overpowering their victims and severing the spinal cord for smaller prey or applying a suffocating bite to the throat for larger prey. From the dense jungle to the vast savanna, these predators are relentless in their pursuit of survival. Witness the thrill of the hunt and the thrill of the kill as these creatures fight tooth and claw for their next meal. What are their dimensions? How do they look like? The eastern lowland gorilla, the largest species of primate on Earth, is a beast of epic proportions. Weighing in at a whopping 500 lbs, 226 kg, with a height of up to 6 feet, 1.82 meter, this gorilla is not to be trifled with. With a large head, powerful jaws, and teeth that could crush bone, the eastern lowland gorilla is a sight to behold. Its thick, dark fur covers its body, save for its face and hands, and it prefers to walk around on its knuckles. The Bengal tiger is equally impressive, with its imposing morphology and stunning coat. Its thick legs and powerful jaws are perfectly adapted for hunting and killing prey. With a coat of yellow to light orange and black, gray, or brown stripes running down its body, this tiger is a true beauty. Males can reach a length of up to 10.2 feet, 3.1 meter, with a weight of up to 550 pounds, 250 kg. The eastern lowland gorilla and the Bengal tiger are two of the most magnificent creatures on the planet. Get ready to be awed by their incredible size and striking appearance. I hope you are enjoying the video so far. Before we proceed, please subscribe and consider liking the video. This will help us with the YouTube algorithm. How do they behave in the wild? The eastern lowland gorillas are not just any animals. They are social creatures that live in tight-knit family groups, called troops or bands. Each troop is led by a powerful, dominant silverback male. This giant silverback oversees two or three females, their young, and a handful of subordinate males. But these troops are not always small. Sometimes they can reach up to 30 individuals, and on rare occasions, there can be two silverback leaders in a group. These gorillas travel, feed, and raise their young together, creating a bond that's stronger than steel. Bengal tigers, on the other hand, are solitary creatures, 
and their preferred traveling unit is a mother and her offspring. The mother raises her cubs for two to three years before they go out on their own. But when it comes to food, tigers can get downright savage. They have home territories that they fiercely protect and will go on the hunt for anything that crosses their path. And when there's a plentiful food source, these solitary creatures can come together in groups, known as an ambush or streak. Though tigers may be solitary, they are still a force to be reckoned with. Their territory is their kingdom, and they will defend it fiercely against any who dare to challenge them. Get ready to witness a battle of epic proportions. Two kings of their habitats, a silverback gorilla and a Bengal tiger, are set to face off in the ultimate showdown. But before we get to the thrilling fight, let's dive into their respective habitats. The silverback growers gorilla is a social animal thriving in the tropical lowlands and rainforests of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Sadly, their range has decreased drastically in recent years due to habitat fragmentation. On the other hand, the Bengal tiger is a solitary creature, found in tropical, subtropical, and temperate forests, with access to water in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. Now let's get to the good stuff. If these two beasts were to meet, the only place it could happen would be in a zoo. But who would come out on top if they were to engage in a fight? Both animals are huge in size, strong, and smart. Although their size is similar, a tiger can grow even larger. However, let's assume for the sake of the argument that these are two individuals of equal weight. The silverback gorilla is a formidable opponent, with its strong chest, lengthy arms, and enormous weightlifting ability. In a fight, its huge and powerful arms can deliver a knockout blow and even break a spine. Its thick hide and long hairs can also be helpful in its defense. On the other hand, the Bengal tiger has the advantage of speed, lengthy, strong claws, enormous canine teeth, and better maneuverability. Its muscular body and thick fur make it a fierce competitor. While the gorilla has an incredible bite force of 1300 PSI, the tiger is close behind with a bite force of 1050 PSI. However, the tiger's canines are about 0.5 to 1 inch longer. The gorilla's thick neck can prevent an easy victory for the tiger, but the only serious chance for the gorilla to win would be to strike its backbone with its massive arm. This would be challenging to achieve due to the tiger's agility. What do you think? Which of the two would win a possible fight? Tell us in the comments down below.